Welcome. So what we have here is y equals a times x minus p times x minus q. And what this is called is called our intercept form. Now, when we look at quadratics, you know, you guys are familiar with y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and also y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Um, here's our you know, standard in our vertex form. Now, this intercept form is very, very helpful, especially when we're going to be finding the zeros um, or the roots of our quadratic because it's already in a factored form. Now, a lot of times when we're given a quadratic and we want to find the zeros, we want to take a standard form and factor it so it's in this form. Um, however, when we're looking for, let's say I get some, let's say I get a quadratic and I either factor it, I either put it in intercept form or it's already given in intercept form, how am I going to now be able to determine what the axis of symmetry is and the vertex? Um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is just take the axis symmetry, is remember x equals. So x equals, what we're going to do is do p plus q divided by 2. That's going to give us our axis of symmetry. Remember our vertical line, that's going to uh, be symmetrical for our quadratic. Then, just remember when we had a table of values. When we had a table of values, what we did is we chose x values, and we plugged in that x value to find the y value. So I'm going to use function notation um, to find this. So if I want to find the vertex, it's going to be p plus q divided by 2. Then to find the y coordinate, or our output coordinate, I'm going to do f of p plus q divided by 2. And all this is really meaning, I'm using function notation to represent, what we're going to do is take our value for x and then plug it into the quadratic, even though I could probably represent this as a function so it makes sense. But you're going to plug that x value into your function for x to be able to go ahead and find the y value um, or your output value if it was you know, a function. So there you go. That's how you find a, uh, there's how you find the axis symmetry and vertex when given an intercept form. Thanks.